We're going to New York tonight. And I'm packing. We have to leave in like two hours. They put my name on it. And then on the back it says Tommy family. Cool. Thank you, Tommy Hilfiger. This is really cool. I'm very excited about it. Nala's being a little angel, honestly. Compared to her brothers, she is a saint. You little world traveler. I was talking about how like, she's like my daughter and I birthed her and I grew her in my tummy. And then we were like, if anyone heard me, <laughs> like just was walking by and like heard the way that I speak about cats, they would like put me away. Is it on? Is it, can you see? New items, including luggage to transport on your flight, do not accept it. This lady keeps interrupting me. You're welcome. Hi guys, we are in New York and I didn't vlog. It was really hectic. We have a lot of bags, so it was like crazy. But we're gonna go get Nala a cat litter. She's in the backpack. Say hi to the camera. I'm getting ready. I started using this thing because my acne came back. It's the Merit Complexion Stick. I don't know what that means. Now I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. Emma's coming over gonna meet the cat. I can't believe she hasn't met her yet because if there's anyone crazier of a cat lady than me, it's Emma, so. Now I'm using the Milk Baked Bronzer. I changed like all of my products recently. This stuff is so good. Um, Kenzie showed me it. It's the Cheeky Flush Bomb from Merit, I think. The Master Matte from Makeup by Mario. I'm using like these two shades and then I take the black shade and put it like right above my eyelashes. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm really bad at explaining this. This is what my eyes look like when I'm done. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not really good at the eyeshadow thing. This is the powder I use. Emma showed it to me and I love it. It smells like perfume. Hi! I missed you. Telescopic mascara. Look, we are like the same. We're the same. I love this. If you didn't think we could look more like we do. Her mom says the same thing. Yep, we're identical. My makeup is done. You look so pretty. Thanks! Uh, the lip liner was Foxy Brown from Charlotte Tilbury. We're gonna go get food! Yeah! She got a scarf! I did because I thought I didn't need one and then I walked outside. I have no shame because I'm from Florida so I'm not used to the cold. We're gonna go get food. Don't know where. I don't know anything about Nomo. this city. Um, we're going to Nomo in Soho. Nomo in Soho. <laughs> Nomo in Soho. I like that. Yeah, me That's too. That's a good That's reason fun. Okay. <laughs> Probably so odd that they watch us break on camera now because we've been vlogging since we were like 18. Yes. Is it weird? Let us know. Someone thought I was 20 and I posted, well, I posted me drinking an espresso martini and they were like, Aren't you 20? No. Oh, not anymore. Not, not anymore.
came on. <laughs> this lighting sucks. You, know, you should read what? while you're in New York. Just kids, I've had Oh, I need to. I have it. Have I, it I have to read it. Here. Really? Yes. I need to read that. I'm, I won't let go. Emma has some shooting to do. I just shot some stuff. And now I'm just hanging out and waiting because we're going to get dinner. I've been frolicking well, the city and it's beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Having so much fun. I do but I can't feel my fingers or my nose. Right It's kind of like a ice cream and french fries. Yeah. These are some solid french fries. Mm. Hot chocolate. That's legit. Oh, it's kind of, it has like a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That is legit. Hot chocolate and french fries. a blue Tommy Hilfiger button up and then a blue Tommy Hilfiger sweater on top. A blue Tommy Hilfiger bomber jacket and then blue Tommy Hilfiger jeans. That's a lot of Tommy Hilfiger. This is the fit. I feel very preppy, but I love it. And I'm wearing my glasses. We're gonna go get dinner at this like restaurant that has a very pretty view. This is the full outfit. <laughs> It's very pretty up here. Yeah. That's all I have to say. It's very Good morning guys, I'm gonna go watch a Broadway show with Emma today and I'm very excited about it. We're gonna watch Book of Mormon. I don't know what it's about, but it's Emma's favorite and I'm along for the ride. I'm wearing this sweater from Tommy Hilfiger and these jeans from Tommy Hilfiger. So much is wrong with the camera. Yay! We watched the show. I was shy. I wanted to abide by the rules, so I didn't vlog any of it, but it was fantastic and very funny. Um, it was really funny. It was so funny. And that, it was funny. <laughs> That's all I can say. Can't spoil it. Can't. You should just go um, watch it on YouTube. Or don't. If or you're don't young. at all. So now we're in um, Times Square. Got pizza. She got weird looking pizza. <laughs> I got spinach, tomato, and mushrooms. There, there's some like seasoning there. It looks good. I got buffalo chicken because I love that. Looks My fantastic. Lips are so Cheers. Taste test. Gotta hold it. That's amazing. So the show was great, and the theater kid and us. Yeah. It's really great. It was really fun. Better than I remember. Well, better and also crazier than I remembered. Because you get the jokes more. Yeah. You're getting blue balls. Mm. You're not getting blue balls. <laughs> I did something different with my hair today. Do you guys like I mean, it? I really like it. Do you? I like it too. It took me an hour. I just realized that the reason I'm always changing my hair or like getting extensions is because I get bored. Because I don't do cute hairstyles. So I can switch it up. It's true. You know? Like, what if I did little braids and stuff? That'd be cute. I'm switching it up. We need to put more effort into our looks. Totally. <laughs> 
because I hate people knowing that I do their nails. I do be do. I would. I do be do. No, I do be do. I do be do. So the last time we were in New York together. Okay, I went into. I almost hit psychosis. <laughs> like it was bad, and then it was bad. I flew home to be cradled by my mother. <laughs> we're gonna go to the train station. And go to the train station. in Miami now. I was in New York for almost a month. Every time I've gone to New York, I have hated it and I've came back and I've been like, I hate it there. It's too much for me. It's too fast for me. It's too hectic for me. Like I can't do it, which is exactly the reason why I want to move there because it's going to push me out of my comfort zone. I'm in a point in my life where I want to grow as a person and like have some character development, have myself just grow. Like I want to how do I put this? I want to force myself to grow in the... <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I want to force myself to... I'm trying to force myself to be a little uncomfortable. It is 2024, which I like haven't even processed yet. I need to figure it out. I don't know what I need to figure out, but I got to figure it out. And this is the year that I'm going to figure it out. If that makes any fucking sense. So... I'm going to be spending a lot more time in New York this year, I've decided, and I'm going to obviously take you guys along the ride. I'll be back there in about a month, I think. As for the cats, they are good. They're being taken care of, I promise. I love those boys with everything in my entire body, every cell in my body, every hair on my head is for those cats. I've always found excuses for myself not to travel and not to go places and not to put myself out there and get myself out of my comfort zone because I like being a little hermit crab and I like sitting in my routine, which isn't even really a routine. I just sit there, I'm a hermit crab and I just rot away in my mental health issues. And that's not what we're doing this year. That's not what we're doing. We're not gonna do that. Specifically, I'm trying to work on my social skills this year. I put myself out there. I know I do. I mean, this is my job. But when it comes to strangers and crowds and pretty much anything besides a vlog camera, I'm not very good at it. I'm pretty bad at it, actually. I freak out and that, that needs to stop. I was just watching a video of myself recently and it made me think. It was a video of me four years ago when I was 17 and starting social media when I was being a little dumb idiot and putting it online for millions of people to see and now my digital footprint is just so strong. I was like blonde. I had colored contacts in all the time. I mean like all the time. The way I did my makeup, it was just clearly I was trying so hard to be somebody that I'm not. I just have embraced all of my features and I think I look the best when I embrace all my features. Four years ago I was so uncomfortable with myself and so insecure that I tried to be com the complete opposite of myself. Like blue eyes, green eyes, blonde hair. And a lot of people bring up those days because I was acting at the same time. I hate the fact that I felt the need to overcompensate like that instead of just being myself. My brown hair, my brown eyes, and my curls, and I'm Latina. Like, I don't know what I was doing. It just goes without saying that you really do just look and feel your best when you're being yourself. That was fucking corny, but I mean that. I just realized how much I've grown and evolved from when I was 17 years old and trying so hard to be something that I'm not, and I want to grow even more this year in that direction of loving myself and being myself and embracing me so yeah that was my little talk for you guys <laughs> anyway i'm in miami for a couple basically two weeks and i have a couple uh, i have some footage left over from new york so i'm gonna grab that grab my miami footage put it together and get you guys another vlog next week i love you guys Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you soon. Also, happy new year. And if you didn't get a kiss, there you go. <laughs>